I'm on the research vessel RV Nagarin, uh, floating in the middle of the Beagle Marine Park in central Bass Strait, sandwiched between Victoria and Tasmania. We're out here uh, conducting a survey using a ROV or remotely operated vehicle. And this is a little robot with seven cameras on it that's able to capture the fish life and all the cool things living on the seafloor. So in 2018, we came up here with a different instrument called an autonomous underwater vehicle. And this is a robot that you, is completely autonomous from the, uh, from the vessel and navigates along Transex all by itself. During this survey, we uh, documented quite a few uh, brightly coloured sponges and bryozoans and other cool things growing on the seafloor. And importantly, we stumbled across an aggregation site, or what we think is an aggregation site, of Port Jackson sharks. So an aggregation site is where sharks come together. Now, we don't know the reason for this, but we're hypothesising or guessing, uh, in plain language speak, that uh, this is an area where the sharks come together to either breed or indeed fatten up before they head up to places like Jarvis Bay in New South Wales and coastal areas along Victoria where they lay their eggs. So this species is a very friendly shark species. It's not a scary one like depicted in Jaws or anything. It's a quite, a quite a friendly little species that hangs out in caves and sandy gutters and divers regularly interact with these shark species. They rest during the day and forage during the night and they love to eat things like crabs and other uh, mollusks and crustaceans that live around the seafloor. This species is a, is a egg butt laying shark so it doesn't lay live uh, babies, it lays eggs. And these eggs are spiral shaped and they lay the egg and grab it in their mouth and then using their body swim up to a to a crevice and spin their body around and screw the egg into the rock to keep it safe while it, uh, while it incubates if you like. One of the wishful things we hoped to uh, revisit in this survey was this aggregation site and yesterday we were very fortunate enough to stumble across this aggregation site and we're talking hundreds of metres maximum in size yet thousands of sharks tightly packed like a carpet across the seafloor. A very very exciting moment when we managed to uh, traverse over these uh, sharks and spend a bit of time with the robot yesterday filming them laying around on the, on the seafloor. Now one of the really interesting things that we were able to discover this time around is it looks like an aggregation site of mainly females. We didn't see any males which poses more questions than answers for us.